Hi guys, this is Bill from Spencer1984.com with another update to the Blade Runner Spinner. And last video left off right here with the tires ready for paint, so let's take care of that. So I painted everything with black primer and then went back and painted the wheels with some dark aluminum by Vic Hobby. And taking a look at the tire tread, you can see how that tape just gives a little bit more interest. So that they're not just plain old slicks. So setting those off to the side for the moment. And I also got the lower hull painted and started doing some weathering on that. There's a lot of discussion on exactly what blue this should be, but I went with TS10 French Blue. As I thought the color looked pretty close, and I always like working with Tamiya paints. And the rear vents here are painted with some titanium silver. And then add a little graphite to it to give us a little bit of weathering. The inside of all of the vents are painted with some burnt iron. I like that as a good shadowed metallic color. I'm going to have to do a little bit more once the interior is in place. But now we're ready to add the detail parts. And for that we've got two pair of large red-blue flashers. I painted them with some chrome for the buckets and black for the outer shell. We've got two smaller red-blue flashers and those are painted the same way. We've got a set of six large horns go toward the front of the car. Those are painted with just straight up tester silver. And a set of six smaller horns. Those are also painted with some tester silver. So I'll go ahead and get all those installed. Now to get the wheels on, I've got a couple of these. And they're nice in the once they're installed, you can pose the wheels in either the road or flight position, but uh, they don't fit in real snug. And I don't want to take a chance on getting it wrong, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach them with some flexible glue. That way everything is going to stay in place, but I'll have a little extra wiggle just in case I need it when I bring the two halves together. I'm just going to put a little bead right across the bottom of the part there. Do the same on this one. And just drop those in where they belong. Side one. And side two. Alright, so those are ready to go. And while I have the tacky glue out, I like to use it to help install glass panels, and we got the two windows that need to go into the floor. So, what I'm going to do with these, take another little bead, and I'm just going to run it, I'm just going to run it along one side here, and the front. And that's going to give me plenty of grip for installing it before I put the final glue in. And just like that. So now I can just line it up with the openings. Drop that in. Make sure it's all nice and square. And that's how that looks installed. That'll hold long enough for me to get the second one done. And I'm going to do the same thing, just along leading edge and down one side enough to hold it in place good there get that one in and there's my two glass floor panels now to finish the assembly, I'm going to take some of this Tester's Clear Part Cement and I'm just going to run a bead of that along the other two edges. And you can see, as I apply it, it actually wicks up underneath. So that'll form a nice strong bond and it's not going to cloud the glass like other glues will. Across the back here. And that's it. 
They'll need a little time to set up, but other than that, those are in there permanent. Let me just pop the wheels on, see what that looks like. Four here. So there you go. Got the rolling chassis to the spinner. Ready for the next steps. So I'll be working on the upper hull next. I got quite a bit of prep work to do on that, uh, but I will have an update on it next week. So you can check back then. And thanks for watching.